our clutch came apart. And you can kind of see how this works now with all the parts apart. This slides like this, and when um, it engages and the motor is going high enough RPMs, it'll overcome the spring tension, centrifugal force, and cause it to lock onto this drive cup where the chain drive is and run the saw then. And at low RPMs, it'll the spring pressure, spring tension will pull it back in and it'll um, disengage. So all we have to do is put the spring back on now. Yeah, I looked at the old the video of it before it fell apart. And the part where the spring goes, where the spring's the link is, should go opposite the off on here. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do. Um, well, then we'll just get it in here partly at a time here. Okay, so we've tried that one in. Let's try to get this one. Yeah, I'm trying to uh, fit this spring back in the slot in this small gap. And there's a lot of tension here. And I tried this for a while when I realized that uh, this thing is not going to work. It's going to fall apart. So I moved on to another method, and I'll show you that next. Okay, so first we threaded it in like that. As I attempt to uh, pry these sections apart far enough to get the uh, center piece, that triangular piece, to fit, I find it coming apart on me. And uh, so what I'm going to do next is to uh, wire this together to hold it in place. Okay, just keep the spring from going anywhere. I'm wrapping wire <coughs> around each one of these <coughs> through the holes, kind of to bind it together while we try to fit this a centerpiece in there. So we'll repeat that another five times. Okay, now holding one in a vise, let's grab a vise grip pliers here and see if we can pull this out. See if we have enough power to pull this out. There. Okay, looks like we got Two of them in place now. Okay, we've got this secured every which way now. And we've got a screwdriver slipped in there as well. I'm going to try to slip this final element into place here. Let's close in for a closer view. Again, getting the screwdriver in there and, and giving this thing a good pull with the vice grip. And it takes a good pull to overcome that spring tension enough to get that part to fit back into its slot. And there it is. Okay, looks like we're in. Okay, then it's off with your uh, all your wires. When you get all those off, you reassemble it. Thanks for watching.